Welcome back. We are in the kitchen here at Pronghorn, and I have the executive chef, Kevin Lindy, with me here. He's going to show us how to make pasta, right? Yeah, we're going to do um, some mushroom du sel raviolis. So we're going to roll out the pasta dough first thing. Now, the mushrooms that we're featuring in this ravioli, they're uh, Oregon mushrooms. Where do you guys get this from? Agricultural Connections. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty nice to be able to use local product and feature that. It's something that since moving to Bend about a year ago that I'm um, really excited about is being in Oregon and being able to utilize the products that we have on hand. Is it hard to get local products or is it easy with things like Agricultural Connections? Um, agricultural Connections and things like that, they, ma they make it easier for us. Um, we also grow a few herbs on property that we utilize as well. Do you cook the way you cook at home? Do you try and bring that into the kitchen a lot? I mean, you try and do the same kind of style? Are you in the uh, kitchen all day long, pretty much? Uh, a little bit of both, I guess. <laughs> um, definitely, there's soul in both areas, right? We have our pasta rolled out here. I'm gonna show you, and if you wouldn't mind helping me, I'll um, squeeze out the uh, mushroom here. This is mushroom du sel. Okay, what's that mean? That means it's a French term, essentially. So these mushrooms are cooked down in shallots. Um, huh. They're cooked down with a little bit of wet red wine, finished with a little bit of butter, and then I add a little pecorino to it. So we take a little egg whites and water, and we'll just basically brush the pasta so that it sticks together and doesn't blow up on us in the water. So there's no little air pockets, we'll squeeze it out after we get this egg white and water mixture on there. How much more time does it take to do dishes from scratch like you guys do the... Um, you know, there's a little bit more effort that goes into it, but I think it's the learning curve is the challenging part. Mm -hmm. So once you get the learning curve down and once you understand the process, it's really not that much more time. So what we're doing here is just folding the pasta dough over, and then we'll kind of squeeze out the air bubbles. So you start from the back and you push towards you. Got so your little raviolis? They yes. go under here? Yeah, they're going right here on the, on the Voila. Uh, sheet pan here. These look really good. Awesome. Should go cook them up and try them? We should. All right. Awesome. All right, we have the pasta in the water and we're ready to start the sauce. That's correct. So actually I'm going to start sauteing um, the mushrooms. So I'll put a little oil in there. What kind of sauce is this? Um, we are doing a lemon sage brown butter sauce. But right now I'm just going to saute the mushrooms that are part of the garnish for the dish. Uh-huh. Add a little salt to them. So we have chanterelles in the pan and then we have cremini's mm -hmm. going down as well. So whenever I get yelled at at work or at home, I just cook and it makes me happy. Right? Yeah. Is this a pretty simple dish for you though? Uh, yeah. Compared and to some other ones at Pronghorn? Yes. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Features what we do well here. Mm -hmm. um, and it delivers. So anytime it's simple and it delivers, it's kind of something Money. that you want to go with. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And you guys have an opportunity here to serve, you know, just from everything from couples to huge parties too. Exactly, well, right? yeah. Like for instance last Sunday. Woo! Adding a little white wine to the dish. See? It's always nice because <laughs> food, food gets you jumping. On Wednesday nights we do music on the patio. Nice. Um, so we feature a different local artist um, and we try to um, really get that atmosphere on the patio where people want to sit out and enjoy the sun and enjoy the music. So as my butter is browning here, a little bit of lemon juice and you'll see it start to oh, yeah. heat up a little bit. Now we get some extra flavor. It looks really good. One of the glorious things about being a chef is you always get a taste, right? Is it the best ever? It's almost there. <laughs> and here are our raviolis. I didn't hear a timer go off. Is this all just in your head? Yes, right? Is the ravioli your favorite dish? Is that what you're making it for us? Is there a better one? Um, I like the fact that it's fresh pasta. Um, and I'm personally a big fan of fresh pasta. Um, so it's one of my favorite dishes for yeah. sure. Now is that just for looks? <laughs> now saute means over high heat, constant movement. Uh -huh. And it helps to cook it evenly throughout, right? And it looks cool. And it looks cool. <laughs> You're absolutely right. All right, so now we can plate from this point. I'll take my mushrooms all here. All right. It's all coming together. That's right. So we serve six of these mm -hmm. um, per dish here at Pronghorn. Doesn't seem like many, but with the nice, indulgent brown butter sauce, a little bit goes it's a long way. Pretty filling. <laughs> exactly. Final touches? 
yet. So we'll finish it with a little bit of uh, the mushrooms as well. And a little bit of pecorino. A little bit of breadcrumbs for texture. Uh-huh. And finish off with some beautiful local microgreens. Are we ready to try it? We are. All right. I want the biggest one. Just be careful. Might be a little warm. We'll see. But delicious, so that's good, right? It's not too warm. It's perfect. Excellent. I gotta try it. So we just gotta stay here and eat the rest of this all day. You got it. All right. We'll be back. <laughs>